You know, I was 24 years old when I came out to my mom, and when I first told her, I saw that she was really trying to understand it, but I didn't expect her to understand in 24 hours what took me 24 years to understand. So I gave her that space, and guess what? She really started understanding really, really quickly, and now she is one of my biggest allies and supporters. So really, just give yourself the grace of time and understand that it doesn't have to be rushed. You will know when it's right. Happy National Coming Out Day. My coming out story, um, when I told my parents, it didn't go well. I was in college and my dad took an oil painting that a student had done of me that I'd given my mom the year before. He took it off the wall of our apartment and smashed it against my car as I drove away. And they kicked me out the house. Um, and I don't think I ever got over it. Um, and they came around, but I know that they regretted it. Um, so I say to all parents out there to lead with love. Um, even if you're not happy about it or don't agree with it, let your child know, um, that you'll always love them. Um, my best friend in high school was the first person I told, and that was an entirely different experience. Um, she told her parents, who I thank God to this day, never told mine because they would have reacted just as poorly at an even more difficult time uh, for me to be dealing with all of that in my life. And to this day, I'm thankful for that family. She lives in Las Vegas now and I see her um, whenever I go. Um, that's the coming out story that I choose to remember. Um, one filled with love, with friendship, with acceptance. Um, and my love for her is lifelong. Hey everybody, Will Gans here. Happy National Coming Out Day. So my coming out story involves me popping out of the stage at Madison Square Garden in the middle of a Celine Dion concert. There was glitter and confetti everywhere. And that is not true. That is not a true story, no matter how badly I wish it was a true story. Uh, I'm from the suburbs of Texas. So for me, coming out was a process and it was not always easy. Um, you know, I think I always thought that you would just come out once and that was it. And it was like ripping a Band-Aid off and all of a sudden you were out and there was you know, butterflies flying and rainbows behind you and all of that stuff. But no, it's it's work um, and it's worthwhile work. That's what I've learned, you know, uh, like everybody, you get to know yourself a little bit better as you grow and you decide which parts of yourself you want to share with whom. Um, and I'm very lucky because my friends and my family uh, have been incredibly supportive and celebrate me and my authentic self. Uh, and that's what this is all about. Um, wherever you're at in your journey, and if you're, you know, an ally, uh, we can all celebrate authenticity and, and, you know, lift each other up and support those who might be doubting themselves as they get to know themselves. But, uh, Happy National Coming Out Day, uh, and it is a happy thing. It's a, it's a hard process, but it's a worthwhile process. So uh, sending you guys lots of warm wishes, and Celine Dion, we can still make that fantasy of mine happen if you're listening to this, right? My advice to anyone coming out on this National Coming Out Day is take your time. Your whole world does not have to change overnight. I told the first person I was gay when I was 15. She was my best friend, Steph. I told her at her kitchen table at a parents' house, and I remember crying and trying hard for them not to hear, they were just in the next room. And it took me nine more years before I was able to tell my mother. I emailed her when I was 24. So take your time, be kind to yourself, and good luck. As early as fifth grade, I can remember knowing that I was gay, but doing everything I could to suppress that feeling and make sure nobody found out. But it wasn't until I was about 25 years old that I was finally able to accept myself. Coming out can be frightening, and it should happen on your own terms, but I can tell you there's no better feeling than when that weight is finally lifted from your shoulders and what I have learned is that the people that really matter, they will always be there. On National Coming Out Day, we think about the people making brave declarations about their truth, 
but what about the people they're coming out to? To you, mom, dad, auntie, uncle, grandparents, I have one word, congratulations. When I came out to my very Catholic family, my Aunt Peg wrote me a card and it said, congratulations, and she penciled in on being gay. And flipping the script on this story is worth considering. I mean, congratulations on having a person in your life who knows themselves, who cares so much about you that they need you to know their truth. And they're inviting you on the journey. Listen, I'm a mom now and I get it. You're just worried that the person you love is gonna have a hard time in the world. But wouldn't it be harder for them if they had to suppress or hide their true self? I know that when I came out, I had a pretty amazing experience. My parents were unbelievably supportive. My friends, um, my church was great. My, even my, I had a job then and my bosses never batted an eye. And I can't promise it'll be like that for everyone. But you've been invited to go on this journey with someone who loves you. And maybe it wasn't all roses and unicorns when they first told you, but this is a journey. So I'm just gonna go with the message from my Aunt Peg. Congratulations, someone you love wants you to go on this journey with them. Happy National Coming Out Day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.